Hey guys, it's Abby here. I'm working on refurbishing this ST2000 printer. And when I go to do a copy on the printer, uh, it starts to print. And as the carriage reaches over to the left side of the printer, it gets stuck. It pauses and goes all the way over. Um, and that's where it tells me there's a paper jam in the back side or inside to remove the jam paper. So I go ahead and I reach inside. Um, I pull out the jam paper and I did this a couple times and I still continued um, to get this same result every time I would remove the paper. So we're gonna take a closer look and see what happens because every time we get here um, is where it happens. So as my finger goes across, uh, every time there is where we get this problem um, and then it pauses right there at the end. So. We're going to shut it down and look and I put my flashlight inside to look at the areas where it always gets caught um, and gives me the error. And as we see on the encoder strip, we see these black dots um, and so these black dots are ink. Um, and this ink has dried on to the encoder strip so we see about three dots um, of ink that's been on there. And that is where every time the um, sensor on the back of the carriage tries to read the encoder strip, it gets stuck there, stuck here, um, and stuck there. And that's where, you know, it can't go back. And so it gets stuck um, on that far left side. It tells us we have the paper jam error. And so here's where we're going to fix that. We're going to replace the encoder strip. Um, there's going to be one screw on the front side on the top. And then you're going to need to flip your printer upside down and you're going to take the screw um, on the back out so this way we can take the side panel off so open up the scanner and grab onto the side panel and uh, push it back and it should come off you know lift up a little bit and push backwards and it should come off all right so there's going to be this gear in the middle and you can rotate that gear and that will release the print headlock I push a little bit to the right first and um, then I pull the carriage over. So the encoder strip hooks on to two hooks, one on the left side, one on the right side. So I unhooked the uh, encoder strip first and I'm going to pull it through out the sensor on the back of the carriage. And there's going to be um, another hook here. There's two hooks on this side. So. To release it, um, you sort of pull uh, upwards on a 90 degree to release it from that first hook. And then there's actually a metal spring type clip that also hooks onto a second hook on the left side. So there we saw our three um, ink dots and then there's our two slits um, on either side that hook onto the metal hooks. And then on the uh, other end with the one slit, we'll see that we also have our metal spring hook um, that also will clip on uh, to the metal um, railing in the back. So here is a uh, encoder strip that we have in our warehouse that I went and got. Um, so I'm going to replace it. And this one is a clean one that has um, no ink spots on it. Uh, it should be readable for the sensor. So here again, I'm showing that there's that um, one ink slot, I'm uh, sorry, um, one slit on it. And on that one slit, there is gonna be like a black triangle up at the top. That black triangle up at the top needs to be facing upwards um, on the far left side, connected to the metal spring. I grabbed a carriage from our warehouse to show you what it would look like in the back of the sensor that I'm trying to feed the encoder strip through um, without taking it all apart um, in the printer. So I'm going to use a flashlight and I'm going to feed um, the encoder strip through while making sure that I have my one end on the left side with um, the black triangle on the encoder strip facing up. Uh, so once I feed it through, uh, I ended up taking my um, metal clip off, um, but then you can just rehook it back on. So in the beginning, I wanted just to show you where it would go. Um, as you do this, you kind of have to hold tension on either side, um, in which I guess the carriage is in between, so you don't end up accidentally pulling um, the encoder strip out, out one end um, and then having to feed it through again. 
So at this point, I'm trying to hook it on to the far right side on one of the little hooks. So I have it there. Now I can focus on trying to hook it on this um, metal hook. So we'll see that we have the slit on this side connected. And then we have to try to use the metal um, spring hook. And so I'm using a pair of tweezers to pull it through. And I'm also using my um, index finger to help um, push it, push towards it. So I'll, you'll kind of hear like a little click. Um, I have the sound muted so as I'm voicing over this. So, But as you do it, you'll kind of hear a little click as it falls into place. So boing, it's in there now. <laughs> um, but as you'll see, Again, I have, as you see, when you push it back and forth, um, you have to hold this tension. So now I'm just back on the other side, making sure that the other um, slit on the encoder strip is hooked on. And so now I have this tension on both sides. Everything is hooked on. The metal spring is hooked on. The encoder strip is hooked on. If your print head lock gets opened or flipped up for some reason, just use that middle um, gear and just test that you're carriage can move back and forth so we're going to try again there's my um, little sticker and i'm going to try to do a copy it's all powered on i'm going to open up my scanner so we can um, see if the carriage gets stuck anywhere i'll do a colored copy and we're going to watch it at one point i did hold my breath as um the carriage paused in the middle for a second but uh, it all worked out so I hope you enjoyed this video. You can visit us at bchtechnologies.com or you can visit us locally here in Greensboro, North Carolina. So happy printing, everybody. We fixed this printer.